What is up everyone, Movie Way and back again with another Movie Talk Weekly. This is just me talking about all the movie news from the past week or so. Now one of the big stories we got this week was that there is set to be a remake of Planes, Trains and Automobiles. Yes, John Hughes' 1987 comedy classic is set to be remade, starring Will Smith and Kevin Hart. Now I've seen a lot of hate online for this already, saying... Why don't they just leave the original alone and this will never work. They'll never be able to recapture John Candy and Steve Martin's chemistry or whatever. And that's fine. If you're a big fan of that movie and you think it should be left alone, then fine. Fair enough. I felt the same with the Robocop remake because Robocop is my favourite movie of all time. But as time has gone on, I've sort of just not let it bother me. And the remake is the remake and I've always got the original there. So I don't think remakes are that terrible, to be honest. I mean, I'll give every movie a chance. And Will Smith and Kevin Hart can be quite hilarious in movies at times. And these two together could be comedy gold, I feel. So I'm going to give this movie a chance. I think, you know, especially Kevin Hart, he really, really does make me laugh in movies. I recently watched La Ride Along 1 and 2. And I thought he was hilarious. He's hilarious in the Jumanji, mo Jumanji movies. So I think he would definitely have to play the John Candy type character here. Because he's good at fast talking, good at never really shutting up. And, you know, John Candy's that annoying character in that movie. So I think Kevin Hart would definitely have to play this character. And there is no word on who's playing who, but that's the way I see it. But like I said, guys, this has potential and I think the chemistry with these two could really, really work. But we'll just have to wait and see. So a plane, trains and automobile remake is coming starting Will Smith and Kevin Hart. We have a new Netflix movie coming next month called The Devil All The Time. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this movie looks incredible. Now, Netflix movies are kind of hit and miss, aren't they? But I feel like this will definitely be a hit going by the trailer. And it's got a star-studded cast like Tom Holland, Jason Clarke, Bill Skarsgård. And we've also got Robert Pattinson, who's about to start in the big blockbuster Tenant, who's really getting up there in the ranks now. And this movie looks like a really dark, deep thriller. It looks like it takes place in the deep south of America. You know, and just it really, really does look like my type of movie. And... I'll leave the link down below, guys, if you want to check this trailer out. But this is coming next month in September, and I can't wait for this movie. I will definitely be reviewing it on the channel. Definitely check the trailer out, guys. It really, really is worth a look. I was quite blown away. I don't know what the story is fully about, going by the trailer, but I can sort of connect a few dots and stuff. But definitely check it out, guys. I'll leave the link down below. That is the devil all the time. Robert De Niro celebrated his 77th birthday this week and we got a new trailer on the day for a new movie that he's starring in. Yes, it's another comedy movie that he seems to do lately and it's called War With Grandpa. Now, when I first seen the words War With Grandpa, the title, I thought this was going to be a sequel to Dirty Grandpa, which is a movie I really liked actually, but it's not. It's its own standalone thing and this sees Robert De Niro having to move in with his son's family and share a room with his grandson and his grandson doesn't look too happy about it so he declares a little war going on and it looks like they're going to be setting little challenges for one another but it looks like his grandson is getting his friends involved and Robert De Niro is getting all his old friends involved and they're having like dodgeball matches and stuff like that you know little challenges facing off with one another to maybe see who gets the room or whatever but it looks like a fun little comedy I mean a lot of people seem to just think that Robert De Niro does trash these days, but he's just made The Irishman just last year, which was absolutely fantastic. So I think Robert De Niro has earned his day, you know, to just do these fun little movies. And I think it looks like a really, really fun family movie, you know, that you can just sit back and have a laugh with. And I'll leave the trailer down below, guys, in the link, along with The Devil All The Time, if you want to check it out. And I think it looks quite good. Definitely will be reviewing that on the channel, but that is War With Grandpa. Last trailer to talk about, guys, and this is going to be for the movie Death on the Nile. And this is for Agatha Christie's best-selling novel. And it's getting a big screen adaptation, just like The Murder on the Orient Express, which we got in 2016, I think. And this is going to see Kenneth Branagh reprise his role. And I'm going to get murdered in the comments for not pronouncing this correctly as Detective Hercule Porio. <laughs> I think I'm saying that correctly who he played in Murder in the Orient Express as well, of course. And it looks like a really, really good film. you got an, a star-studded cast, which includes Gal Gadot 
and Russell Brand's in here as well, and a few other host of decent actors and actresses. And this is coming in October. And what I liked about the trailer was the cinematography. It looked absolutely crisp and pristine and just looked like a really, really well shot movie. And I love Who Done It movies. Who doesn't love a Who Done It movie? Bit of a tongue twister there. I'm really looking forward to this film. I did like Murder on the Orient Express. Wasn't anything exceptionally amazing, but I loved guessing who had done what in the movie, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Another movie I will definitely be reviewing on the channel. But I'll leave the trailer down below, guys, in the link to, the link in the description for Death on the Nile if you want to check it out. Some news now on the new Space Jam sequel, guys. If you didn't know, this is called Space Jam: A New Legacy, and it's not too much news, but we've just had an image released of LeBron James rocking the new Toon Squad t-shirt. And this is set for summer 2021. And we don't know too many details about it, apart from that he's going to be teaming up with Bugs Bunny and co, just like Michael Jordan did. So what I like about this shirt, you've got the Looney Tunes logo, you know, printed into that jersey there. It looks more colourful than the one Michael Jordan wore in the first movie. But I'm looking forward to this, you know, Everyone likes Space Jam, don't they? It's just a fun little family adventure movie, isn't it? So let's hope we get a good movie in 2021. Really, really looking forward to it. And LeBron James instead of Michael Jordan. Let's see how he turns out in the movie. We also might be getting a remake to The Exorcist, guys. Yes, the website Deadline released a quote saying that current Morgan Creek projects include a 2021 theatrical reboot of The Exorcist. So... What do you think about that one, guys? I mean, that is going to be really, really hard to recapture the terror and the atmosphere of that movie. But, you know, like I said, I'll give all remakes a chance. And they might go in a totally different direction here. Who knows? I mean, I think that might be the sensible option. Going at, you know, doing things in their own little way here. But, you know, who knows? Let's just wait and see. I think 2021... Is going to be a really exciting year for movies, especially with some of them that got pushed back. I feel like there's just going to be a load of movies coming out next year, especially if the cinema is just open again, you know, you know, properly so everyone can go. And it might be an exciting year after the bad year of 2020, but The Exorcist might be coming in 2021. So look out for that one, guys. I mean, that might bum a few horror fans out. I personally will be up for it and I'll be definitely reviewing that on the channel as well. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed the movie news this week. Let's hope there's more movie news to talk about next week. I've got a little vlog coming on Friday, you know, where I'm just going to explain where I want the channel to go. I'm going to do a few shout outs as well. But look out for that guys. If you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. I do this as a weekly video. And if you want to comment about the movie news this week, are you looking forward to these movies or the movie news, let me know. I will reply to every single one of you, I promise. Take it all easy, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.